as an actor, you have to create three very separate physical characters, mental characters, and characters who've got different ambitions and different hopes and different drives, even though in essence they're the same man. Uh, so it's, well, it's a fantastic challenge and a great opportunity. I'd be blessed if I get to play these three roles in three separate films, but to get to play them all in one film was an amazing opportunity. So I uh, basically uh, slept outside Darren's house until he let me have the job, you know. So he's on this quest to restore the tree of life, which is dying. It's like it's been, it's been farmed too much. Mankind has found this tree of life and they're using it as we're using the planet now. It's used too much. And so he's on a quest to save it. No, working with Darren has <laughs> unfortunately has spoilt, spoilt me pretty much for working with any others. In, in many ways, he's kind of flawless. But don't tell him that, by the way, um, except for the beard but, uh, and that yellow shirt. What's with that? But uh, <laughs> he's... He's a general by nature. He's a leader by nature. So he doesn't have to try. That, you, you trust him. I trust his taste. I trust his vision. I trust him as a filmmaker. I trust him as a person. So that is something that's invaluable as, as an actor. And then he has a generosity of spirit to kind of invite ideas and invite inspiration from wherever it might come. You know, he's not arrogant in that way. Um, and... You know, I see it from the lighting guy coming up with it. I'd see it. He made it a, an, like an announcement at the beginning, inviting everyone to make it their film. And, I, you know, I certainly feel like... Well, I'm, I feel like a part of it. I feel like I've been part of the film. He's taken on my ideas. And I think everyone would say the same thing. You know, it's a, he's a pretty unique guy. It's touching on all of our questions about who are we? What are we doing here? And how do we live it to the full um, and yet it's not a self-help book I don't think the movie's trying to solve the problems of the world at all I think it's really a brilliant love story about a man searching for the fountain of youth it's exciting but there's layers and layers and layers behind this movie and that's what makes a great story on some level it's entertaining and then on other levels it sustains you and nourishes you in your heart, uh, because unless it touches your heart, then it's not a great story.